Welcome to another video. In this video, we will continue learning maternity starting with antipartum fetal assessment ultrasound. Ultrasounds are used for the following. Confirming pregnancy and location. For example, is the pregnancy ectopic? Evaluating the fetus, for example, assessing for heartbeat, gestational age, abnormalities, growth and development and activity. Evaluating the placenta, such as the location, for example, the placement of the placenta could indicate previa or abruptio. Evaluating amniotic fluid volume. During an ultrasound, the main important nursing interventions are to prepare the client by explaining the procedure and ensuring client has a full bladder. Next, the next most common type of assessment is the non-stress test, NST. This test is mostly used for evaluating fetal well-being. It is safe and non-invasive. The non-stress test will monitor the response of the fetal heart rate to fetal movement. It also assesses fetal well-being and an intact CNS during the third trimester. High-risk pregnancies are also assessed. For example, if the mother has a history of heart disease or a history of a previous stillbirth, she will need a non-stress test. Let's talk about the interpretation of findings, which is very important and always asked on exams. Many students get the findings confused so make sure you're definitely clear of what each finding means. There are two results which are reactive NST and non-reactive NST. Always remember that reactive is a good indication, meaning the baby is healthy. What's considered a reactive NST? It must include these two components two or more fetal heart rate accelerations within a 20-minute period. Before 32 weeks gestation, accelerations are defined as an increase of at least 10 beats per minute lasting at least 10 seconds in fetal heart rate. Now, what is considered a non-reactive NST? It does not produce two or more qualifying accelerations in a 20-minute period. If it does not meet criteria in 40 minutes, Additional testing is indicated which can be either a contraction stress test or biophysical profile. Nursing interventions when perform AN.S.T are the following. Seat the client in a reclining chair or place in a semifowler's or left lateral position. Apply the two belts and transducers to the client's abdomen. Well, that's it for this video. In the next video we will continue the lesson by learning about contraction stress test. See you soon and thank you.